morning, friends. Once again, good morning. Yeah, when I say good afternoon, you might <laughs> move into sleepy mode. <laughs> No, we uh, feel we, and we assume that we have taken a uh, heavy breakfast, okay, and we are ready for the second morning session. And we have uh, another five speakers line up, so I have a request to speaker. You have approximately 20 minutes time, okay, and five minutes for the uh, question and answer. Definitely, uh, we don't have a time limit, but we expect that by 6 6:30 we can close uh, the uh, conference and then we can discuss Hello. one to one Hello. if required. Yes, Prabhakaranji. So actually it is not a good morning, it is good afternoon. Can we all say a uh, loud good afternoon? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This has always been a challenge to take a immediate post lunch session. Yes, no? Yes. Huh? And one more challenge today is the same topic everybody is speaking. So I am the fourth uh, speaker, yeah, giving a different perspective. My name is Prabhakaran, I come from... Uh, Chennai. Currently, I work for Max Life Insurance as a regional training manager. Since I know Kayursha for the last uh, almost four years plus. So, thanks sir for this opportunity. So, in fact, I missed out the uh, Bangalore session. So, I agreed that I promised that I will not uh, miss this uh, program. So, I have managed to come. I had a different uh, view about uh, CFP. Like everybody in the insurance industry, I also wanted to pursue CFP, but then I had a very different interest and then uh, somehow almost for, for last four years, I have been doing this course, one by one, I have cleared almost all the papers now, gone into the final paper, last two to two years, it has been pending. So, last year again, I registered, I called sir, took the video learning, completed, registered, just going to write, and something it still kept pending exam. So, but of late, uh, in meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I have written my uh, mutual fund exam, registered, got into, you know, friends, uh, you know, networking with the um, mutual fund agents and got to know a lot of interesting things. So, that made me somehow, I have to declare and I declared to sir <laughs> that I will, I will have to close this by August, uh, final paper, at least with a good grade. So, next, uh, you know, my time frame is uh, at least uh, 8 weeks to 10 weeks, I have to close and uh, to once I go back, I have to book the date uh, exam and then uh, tell my wife and tell sir also, <laughs> because my wife is always uh, cursing, because no Sundays I, you know, I do work at home, I do not help her, because I say I have to study CFP. In case of any function or, uh, you know, in their house. Normally, they get angry, no, when, when we do not go. I always give this excuse, I have to study for CFP, CFP session is there, I have to, I have, I have to sit and complete this video learning. So, she has been uh, waiting, 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 when I will complete my CFP. So, she always tell my uh, relatives, he will have one excuse, standard excuse that you want to complete CFP. So, this is a constant uh, excuse going on at home. So, this one thing I want to give a uh, full stop or I want to complete and uh, you know become a CFP, uh, I want to end up, end this CFP aspirant and to become a CFP practitioner. So, that is one thing. So, while I was, uh, while we train agents, uh, Max Leaf agents, we, we see agents uh, from LIC. Now, after late I come to know, uh, you know, a lot of mutual fund agents. Even yesterday, I had a discussion with couple of uh, mutual fund advisors in Chennai in different uh, forum like clubs. So, a lot of interesting things uh, I have seen, I want to share during the course of the training. So, I have divided this 20 minute session into two, one is what the CFP can do to me as an uh, advisor and then what the CFP can do to the customers, that is it. So, my session is like this, divided into two. So, what this can do? to me as an advisor is this, we all are professionals, we all are professionals, we call ourselves as professionals, this can help us to become a better professional 
and then CFP, pursuing CFP, you acquire a lot of knowledge which enhance your financial planning and it also helps you to serve your clients better to increase the client satisfaction. Sometime back we were uh, discussing that from advisor how I can be an assistant buyer, the new concept, how I can assist customer to buy, then being an advisor, then being a seller. So, that is the way it can help. Right. So, enhance your cross sell opportunity and increase your case size. It also gives lot of uh, you know freedom, autonomy to work when you become an uh, CFP, autonomy to think and it also gives you lot of room to be creative and also it help you to you know face those challenges in the work. Right. So, CFP helps you to grow as a better professional and increasing your business. So, this is something uh, you know everywhere we see different companies give different nomenclature to people like some they call it as an insurance agent, they themselves call as an insurance agent or some company name them as an insurance agent. How I grow in my career, how I grow uh, in my profession is that some call it as advisor, right. Advisor they think it is little better, right. And what is the ultimate? Then people say, some people call it as financial advisor, some call it as financial planner. Of course, they print financial planner, insurance planner, risk planner. So, the ultimate is, is this CFP helps you to achieve the highest level of professionalism with respect to your personal finance and you been the doctor for the personal finance and you become the doctorate also a dm right do you all want to become a do you all want to become the uh, highest uh, level of certification achieve the highest level of certi certification yes. professionalism then this is something which is the way to achieve this goal CFP, right. Then what is required to grow as a professional? What is required? Can we take some response? Huh? Professional skills, knowledge, then education, okay. Integrity, integrity is a very common word we use these days. Integrity, Ethics, okay. Continuous education and observation. Sir, commitment, commitment to do things. Most important is learning from clients. I have written something with respect to how to, you know, complete CFP and then uh, become a professional. I have just, because my focus is, uh, you know, addressing those uh, IFAs, addressing those agents in that aspect I have designed. So, what is required to be a best professional is that you require a basic training, you require a basic training to address different needs, basic training to address different do the analysis, right. And then once you go and meet clients, you know do it with customers as caves are say daily or you know daily you do it with at least one person, this need analysis or retirement planning, daily you do it with one. So, what you get end up getting? you end up getting your skill development, yes, no, you all agree, yeah. then what is required is an extensive practice, extensive practice is required as always, so I failed uh, giving the time for practice, practicing the exam, practicing the model papers, practicing these questions, solving those questions. So, it requires an extensive uh, practice, 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 practice. In the video learning kit also he says that practice, practice, practice is the only thing that can make you, you know, pass this exam. So, to be a better professional practice is the most important. It is not just completing CFP, practicing it is more important than completing CFP. <coughs> many people get certificates, but I, I have seen many of them do not practice. I have seen in the bank itself, 
No, I, I do serve a couple of banks uh, in, in my company. I uh, actually support the business partners. I am in the bank assurance model. So I have seen many of them have completed CFP not been practicing. Uh, they are branch managers or they are not into customer facing. They do not actually do practice. So, practice actually makes you a better professional and the implementation of whatever, whatever you learn. Instead of being, uh, you know, a specialist in one particular thing or one particular product or one particular, uh, you know, segment, implement whatever you learn in those five papers. Implement whatever you learn. Try all that, right? And then achieving your goal, whatever that you goal you set for yourself to achieve those, uh, you know, uh, milestones like 100 plus crores AUM. So just focus on your goal. So, that makes you a better professional, a best professional. And this applies to me as well. <coughs> Can someone read this? Any one, 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 sir. Okay. Is that everyone thinks they have goals, but what they really have are hopes and wishes. Sir also addressed that hopes and wishes, needs and you know, uh, needs and wants, wants and needs, right. So, these 3 percent of the people make income, what all this balance 97 percent of the people put together, and because they do not have a written goal, most of them achieve their goals because they write it, right. So, this applies to everyone. So, how can, how can I, how can I become a better professional? I always have questions as an IFA, how some agents always be able to close big cases, how some agents simply increase the case size without or you know by doing a need analysis, how to use small planning tools to create big impact in client portfolio and then how to use simple facts and figures to sell with ease and this is what uh, CFP will help you. It makes your life simple that that is what it can do to you as an agent as an IFA. CFA makes you how to you know always be able to close those big tickets, it will help you. This will also help you how to do a need analysis right, this will also help you how you can put those simple facts and then close those big tickets. This will also help you to make a big impact for yourself in front of the customers. You, you actually look, people look at you as a hero, people look at you as a different person, okay. And uh, I had one agent, uh, one agent Ramasamy, like you know, this is a person, you know, normally we have different set of uh, agents and we do different level of training. That person, uh, you know, I was half baked uh, CFP aspirant those days. I trained him on how to do the retirement planning. So, one fine day, uh, you know, he came for a training. This fellow said, uh, came very early and then he was sitting in the class. He said, Sir, I have a, I had a break even, sir, I have made it. So, what is the break even? Then um, he said, Sir, I al always used to meet this client, one particular client. He was a Chennai client. So, he has been servicing this client for almost 10 plus years in Max Lake. So, this fellow once, uh, this client was free, so I taught him, you know, a certain technique how to do the retirement planning, he tried this with the client, he tried it, client was very much surprised. So, he gave him this is what is the requirement and this is what is the SIP that you are supposed to put, he was uh, doing mutual funds also. So, that is the reason why I trained him. So, then customer was surprised, then he asked the agent uh, Ramasamy, how long you have been doing this? Uh, he, he did not say, uh, you know, he did not have any answer. He said, I have been doing this, but uh, since you did not have time, I was not doing it. So, since today you had a time, I could do it. It took almost 1 or 2 hours plus it seems. Then he also said, that how much do you charge for this, doing this kind of analysis? Then he was really uh, taken aback. He was surprised. Then he was so happy to come and share. Then he was, uh, you know, wanting to know, like, how can I do this? Probably at that point in time, I did not refer him, uh, you know, I have set up clients, uh, you know, 
to give uh, for this video learning kit but there is so much to it I am saying the customers customers do really have money and I work in bank assurance I know you know I cannot tell uh, the bank name but I can tell you there are customers who have huge money which I have not imagined that these people have this much money and they have an SB account they do not know what to do I could I have seen an SB account in crores of balance crores in crores and I have seen in uh, uh, 50 lakh plus normal cases those HNA clients they keep an SB account because there are certain banks which give 6 percent 7 percent 8 percent interest for the SB account just for that they keep but they 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 actually wait for the right advice sir yeah there are flexi accounts so um, so customers keep huge money yesterday I will tell you I will narrate another uh, experience yesterday I was sitting with one of uh, the other uh, other uh, uh, mutual fund agent comes from a place called uh, Perambalu which is near Trichy ok so he said uh, you know he was my friend for some time he was not my agent but he is known outside he said out uh, you know he, he was so happy he came by car yesterday for a function in Chennai drove almost 4 5 hours I asked him what so happy no sir I uh, you know cracked a big ticket I asked him how much he said 45 lakhs from where he said the customer is in Bombay this fellow is sitting in <laughs> Perambalur he was an IFA he does a lot of funds uh, so I asked him how did he do he said he has done taken the customer system on a team viewer and made him some calculations and he has been tracking uh, this customer for quite some time almost 3 4 months then he made all those calculations and then uh, he also said that I am doing CFP and all that then uh, then this fellow got the investment almost 45 lakhs from one customer so that was a big achievement I was really inspired as a trainer I was so in inspired so that uh, made me to decide certain things on my personal uh, uh, front right so this is what it can do to you then what new life that it can offer to you it can offer you a new market get more prospects yes no you all agree with this all those points are relevant it can increase your business from existing customers like my agent Ramasamy did yes no yeah it can also earn additional referrals because now people another example I will tell you I have couple of uh, you know people when uh, you know one of my friend who was a CFP he is working as a uh, financial planner working with a firm he says he, he narrates normally when he meets he narrates that people do check whether you are actual CFP or not before they share the data there are they actually so recently one customer he was laughing that one customer openly said sir I checked you are actually CFP so now I, I have no problem in sharing my data I will give you investments it has happened it has happened so that is what uh, inspires me becoming a CFP or becoming an IFA from an employment to an IFA something that it is more inspiring so why CFP is this why CFP is how can I generate better returns on my investments I need professional investment advice future is very uncertain these days so I can be on my own right and then how will I manage my own portfolio if I can manage my own then I can manage my customers as well yes no yes ok then what CFP can do to my clients this can help uh, you to give you know get lot of insight into into this particular period of life you know from 22 to 60 years of age where most of the events or milestones happen in this particular period and you actually master this area you actually master this area and you are the doctorate there with respect to personal finance yes no you all agree you actually specialize yourself between handling the customers personal finance between this period of life this part of life the earning and you know most uh, important part of life 
okay it also can help you to deal with the negative events what are the negative events in risk planning we talk about negative events in life could be what negative events could be health 3d we talk about disease disability death 3d and then it can also help you you know to look at the positive side of life of those customers negative aspects of life you are planning for the client you are addressing the client needs and the positive aspects of life also you are addressing both right and then uh, you know it talks about when it comes to risk planning i thought being from insurance background i thought i must address certain things related to insurance is so close to my heart okay the ifa or agent is somebody who can take a piece of paper and make the customer understand drawing like this how in which quadrant the customer falls like you know when we talk about uh, scenarios which quadrant he falls whether he is unfortunate unlucky fortunate or lucky based on these quadrants it's self explanatory i can leave it for a moment you can see and understand is the one who can make the client can uh, client to understand right where he falls actually whether with insurance or without insurance though he has got right then as a financial planner you know these are the things that we do it's a very systematic and uh, none other than care sir uh, can uh, train you on these steps these five magical and uh, logical steps more than this the steps in financial planning are this only this much nothing to worry and he can make you hand hold you you know to you know understand this to establish a relationship you actually do the analysis then prioritize then do the so give the solutions and then keep reviewing those customers keep reviewing your investments then simple terminologies these are the things that we'll be mostly dealing with in uh, cfp in uh, financial planning irr we talk about cagr financial indic other indicators present value future value right there are a few other indicators this is nothing but the entire thing revolves around tvm the entire whole world you know as we see that power of compounding everything revolves around time value of money right i am i'll be happy when i can uh, make my client to earn even 1 rupee extra so this is a scenario where you know my client has little knowledge to manage his finance his portfolio looks like this and being a cfp if i can make my customer to earn even 1 rupee extra by remodeling his uh, portfolio i'll be the happiest person and then i will hook this customer ever for life right not only him maybe his family friends and everybody living in that uh, city right and this is uh, what ultimately we end up uh, doing we make the customer to save money invest and then spend and protect the whole thing right this is the whole the funda the whole intention of doing this financial planning being a cfp yes that's it uh, from me so this uh, this is what uh, uh, cfp what cfp can do to you and what cfp can do to my client in managing the personal financial portfolio right any any quick uh, questions yes sir Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, just uh, of course, it might be two different scenarios. You working for a life insurer, yeah, right, and also offering only single line of products. Correct. On the other hand, you have client who has got comprehensive needs. Yeah, yeah. So, you as a uh, CFP aspirant or CFP practitioner in the future, so how would you manage this conflict of interest? I think you might be. No, I have already taken a call, so I am starting my own venture. <laughs> completing my 
I am completing my uh, CFP in August and my company has already been registered and uh, mode of float. Yes? Last question. I have been only a trainer. Now I know that I have good number of contacts and I know I can address. So, I have already taken a call. I know I will be against ethics, right? conflict of interest. Say anything else? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. It is a great honor. Yeah. I always see you giving this kind of gifts in the video, <laughs> but today I have been so personally <laughs> honored. Yes. Good. So now let me welcome Mr. Can we all stand up uh, and stretch ourselves yeah. for that? Sure, sure. Huh? No, no, there is no activity as such. Uh, people are well dressed, so I do not want to. Can you try to touch the uh, ceiling? Yeah. Try. Uh, and you have to stand on the toes. No, try, try touching, try touching, oh. okay, now, extend your hands on the right, uh, right and left, try to touch, right once, try, try, try your right side, try your, do not look at me, try right side, extreme, then now left side, try, touch that wall, left side wall, to your left, yeah, can we have a good round of, uh, do you know how to dance, standing and dancing? Okay, you don't do two, three, five times. Four, five. Again, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five. Can we all jump for two times? And third time we can sit. Right? Okay, jump. Jump. Three. Three. You can all sit. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.